And we've rounded a bend. Looks like it's an old fire road cart path. This heads towards the parking lot. Behind me heads north. Here in the middle of the Shepherd Memorial Forest, Pembroke, Massachusetts. Nice yellow. We're not quite at the peak of foliage, foliage yet. Interesting blend of pines and oaks. This particular property isn't as popular as Tubbs Meadow or the Veterans Commemorative Forest at the top of Silver Lake, but it's pretty awesome nonetheless. These are easygoing properties. There's not a lot of rules. Most of them are common sense. Great places to bring your dog, as Harry can attest to. And mountain bikes, no problem. Running, no problem and you might run into a coyote or something. I wonder what Harry made of the coyote. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, yeah. Yeah. This is this is our problem zone right here. There's more blaze vandalism. It's a popular pastime in the disgruntled South Shore. We don't know why. Kids in Bedford seem to get through life without messing up their local nature stuff. Kids up in Newburyport and Newbury and Raleigh seem to get through their days without a need to mangle the shit in their little conservation properties. But kids in the South Shore, they got attitude. They got a hair across their ass. We don't know why. But this is a very important intersection. And the map is half-assed as well because it indicates that you would continue going straight for far further. And actually, given the map bearings, straight looks more like this. Nothing's particularly clear. And so with the vandalized blaze problems, it's even worse. We went down this one earlier. It'll eventually take you to Indian Pond. And the parking lot is this way. This is where we came from. Land of the damaged blazes. This is kind of a shortcut to the parking lot. This goes God only knows where, because none of this is mapped. Here in the age of easy, easy mapping, it's a task that somehow escaped. And you follow this a little ways. Trying to keep an eye out for nail heads where a plastic blaze might have once been. needles beginning to fall. 
Here's another bend to round. And here's the spot that would tell you the turn to take. You can see the nail heads of blazes torn up. And an indication to head this way. What's up there? Now, coming in from the parking lot, you're going to run into blazing that's just flat out wrong. Here's a little bit of it right here. And uh, coming from the north, you'll see the damaged nail head blaze here, there's no actual piece of white plastic left, part of vindictiveness, but you can see from the pattern that you're supposed to head this way because of the way it's offset. But really, we're going this way. <laughs> As you can readily tell, the minute you step out here, the parking lot exit to the little athletic field that tells you where Shepherd Memorial Forest is, is right over here. So you have blazing vandalism, inept mapping, and an inept description all conspiring and doing it's darnest to get you lost, but if you're really vigilant and have the capacity to imagine where things probably ought to be but aren't, calculate the problems with the maps and every other thing, you'll still get through it. And now you have some vaguely useful video heaped onto the entire process. The trail comes out here and we'll have further delights for you ahead as you persevere and work your way towards Bay Farm in Duxbury.